Well, hey everyone, Dave, David Cook coming at you to Franco Painting and Wallpaper and the Huntley Home Makeover. So we have been plugging away. We are at two weeks now. Hard to believe it's been two weeks. So we've had exterminators come over. So they got the pest boxes that are out and about. And then we kind of did some jerry rigging with a five gallon bucket to help us with some chipmunks. Don't ask if you don't know. And then we started, had some extra foam. So in the uh, hotel over here, I started filling some of the holes because it was it was chipmunk city uh filling in holes around the trim there with foam to stop them from coming in the garage um and then we had plumber come out so there's part of the bathroom that he was playing with and then there's the rest of it uh, main door is off as we are getting ready to paint that we finally found someone to help with windows um <laughs> That's a whole story in itself, but we found a good company. 75% um, cheaper than everybody else and almost the same windows as some of the other companies. Um, the range is out because of electric and we're going to gas. The microwave is junk. This cabinet was crap. This cutting board, I'm trying to see if, see if I could save the cutting board. Cause it's a nice cutting board and I think it's used. I've seen people with like smokers and all these people use these ones. So it's really nice, and I looked them online, they're really expensive, but it's just really dirty. So I'm not sure how to clean that one, but that's a project for a whole other day. Um, and we've been continuing priming out the floors. So this one, we got everything uh, primed, all the windows. These are all the cabinet doors, two coats of primer on everything. Uh, today, we're gonna spray cabinets. We finally got the top coat for that. And what else we got? Those are the, that was half the rags. Uh, with the cabinets. I've done a couple of these. That's the water. That was my clean bucket water after I had like eight more left. These things are so gross. It, ugh, they are gross. Um, uh, sprayed the brick. So got rid of the, that was a nasty, I like brick, but that was a gross and ugly brick. Uh, so cleaned it, spray, uh, spray primed that. And then here all the fake brick. We get all that primed out. Uh, all the boxes in here are primed. This is from the Lazy Susan that was there, and that Lazy Susan was kind of falling apart anyway. So we're just gonna put shelves in there. And it's not that deep, so it won't be too bad bending in. So that's not bad. It took me a while to get the dishwasher out because they did not hook, have it hooked up properly. So that was interesting to figure out how they had it hooked up. We got it out and then we've been spraying because underneath they had a lot of mold. So that's what's left of it. It was, I was scraping it out and it took a, <laughs> it took a couple different times <laughs> to get that out. It was pretty nasty. Um, but boxes are sprayed. I'm not sure what that is. I must have hit it with something, but whatever it is, I hit it. So I got to re, re hit that one to spot primer. Um, and then we took this door off and we'll use it in the bathroom. Um, I've got to buy brush, uh, prime that trim, um, flooring. We were been debating on Shaw and this Philadelphia stuff. Um, and then we found somebody that has some stuff. They're buying wholesale and just they're buying bulk. And this is the samples they got. And we actually really like this stuff. So we're waiting for the shipment to come in because these are the samples we got at the store was to make sure it is the right in the same color. So I think we'll be using this stuff on the main floor. That's tended to the plan, we'll see. Um, and then the bathroom is kind of the big one. We got everything un unstubbed and capped. So the toilet, as, as you can see, is gone. Shower, drain's gone, those are gone. All the valves from this is gone. And there, you know, there's a idiot proof thing. You put an outlet next to the water, so that was pretty stupid. So we might move that. Um, we probably will move that. So our plan is, um, you can see where that is, is gonna, be a temp is gonna be a new wall, and we'll just have a 38 inch small bathroom, and then there'll be a big bathroom over there. We wanna do a Jack and Jill, but there was a bunch of plumbing in here um, that we we can move, but it had to be cut out anyway. So we could put it in there, but we can't get the corner pieces we want. So we wanted to put a corner sh shower in here, but they're out of stock until further notice. They have no idea when they're coming in. So instead, we're just going to put a door, center it on this wall, and then where that shower is, it's the same width. We just got a 60-inch shower. We'll come out to somewhere around here, and then we'll be able to put... Uh, toilet there and a small vanity there. So it'll work really nice, a little bit bigger anyway, and that'll go.
go to our guest bedroom so they'll have bathroom entrance there. And everything else has been primed upstairs. We've already seen that. Um, outside, been cutting down. A couple things here and there as we go. <laughs> There's just a lot to do. And uh, running the business and doing this on the side is taking me a little longer than I thought it was gonna take, honestly. But that's okay, it's part of the fun. Uh, so now, the biggest fun has been we're trying to get this pond under control. As you can see, stupid duckweed. So this duckweed has been a real pain in the butt to try and get a control on. Um, however, we got the fountain going and I started cutting away some of the limbs around this tree because they were just huge. And then this is with the fountain. Um, so it actually has been breaking it up pretty decent. And again, jerry rigging it. We had a couple days of good rain. So it's kind of forcing the duckweed. It's kind of, I've been kind of watching, it's kind of pulling around this way and it kind of comes in, forcing it that way and it kind of noodles around. And there's a drain about right there. And then the duckweed and the excess water has been draining out. So it's been nice. Uh, we've actually been, I haven't seen more fish activity. So you can see them come to the top. So we know they're in there, which is kind of cool. We just don't know how big we've been with the net going through and kind of trying to scoop out some duckweed along the edge to kind of clean it out. We can catch these little guys. We're not sure if they're minnows or if they're actually bass larvae, uh, nah, bass larva, uh, small bass. They look like bass to me, but I don't know. I was told they're minnows, but they're not like minnows I've ever seen. Um, so that's what we're looking at now. And then we found out once that water level drops on that drain that's over there and it's no longer coming out, there's uh, an actually a treatment that we can use a pump sprayer on for the duckweed itself. Uh, it just kind of starves it out. It's a coating that goes on duckweed, it starves it. So it doesn't, it kind of blocks the sun from hitting it and it just dies. Um, so it's not supposed to be harmful to fish or wildlife. It's just supposed to be a certified green product. Um, so we're actually gonna try it in part of it to see if it works. And then the other thing we're gonna do is put a net on that part of the pond where it comes in. And we're just gonna kind of section that off with landscaping fabric. So that way all the excess garbage coming from everyone else's pond will come in. The landscaping fabric will kind of stop it and it'll just stay there and we can scoop it out, but the water can still flow through. So that's kind of our plan of attack as of right now. Now we still got a groundhog out there. Every, I brought a, uh, a tool to help me get rid of the groundhogs. There's two of them, but every time they're, they're pretty quick. So every time I get out of the truck, they're going in. Every time I open the screen door, they're in. So I'm gonna have to be more careful on uh, getting a hold of him. So there is Huntley Home Makeover update. Uh, we're gonna, today, the rest of the night, uh, so I got about two and a half hours. So I'm gonna spray out the cabinet boxes. I'm gonna spray out the doors and drawers on one side. Second floor, I'm gonna spray out all the trim up there. Um, and then uh, we're using emerald urethane. It takes about two hours or so to really dry to a touch. It's a great product. Um, but that's what we're just going to use for every, as far as all of our trim. And then tomorrow, I'll flip the doors, do the other side, and we can start putting drawers back in, start getting shelf liner in, and start putting stuff in the kitchen. Um, and then upstairs, we can start working on drywall, starting to patch holes, pulling all the crap. I didn't want to do the drywall work because there's it was big gaps, some more quarter inch, and I had to re-nail some of the trim. And so I didn't want the old drywall. Mosquitoes are awful. I didn't want the old drywall dust to get in between the trim and the floor. Um, and to get dust everywhere. So that's why I wanted to paint all the trim. It'll be easier to just, it'll fall to the ground. I can vacuum it up. Just, I don't know, OCD about it, but I didn't want all that dust in there. So that's our plan for the day. Um, hopefully you subscribe. Hope you uh, keep watching what we're doing. If you got ideas on how we can do things a little bit better or cheaper, we're all ears. Uh, we're about wanting to do the, the job right so it looks great. Um, and looking forward to a final opening and reveal party. <laughs> you guys have a great day and we will talk to you soon. God bless.